Hi, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And an activist group, Anonymous, is, claim, is claiming that NASA is about to state that they found intelligent, uh, well, not intelligent life, just life out in the cosmos based on the activities of their uh, precious Kepler telescope. Now, before I get started, you've got to consider the source. First of all, it's anonymous, so that's not necessarily the most reliable source. And then, the source for this article is The Sun. That is a British tabloid, so take it for what it's worth, basically. Okay, humans are about to discover alien life, that's a breeze. Playing the latest video from activist group Anonymous. Hackers published a YouTube clip which claims NASA scientists made the announcement at the last meeting of the U.S. Science Space and Technology Committee. It comes after NASA's Kepler Space Observatory discovered 219 potential new worlds and other solar systems. Now the planets are rocking like Earth and fallen their system's Goldilocks zone. So called because it's not too hot or more too cold or like to exist. In their video, Anonymous claim ahead of NASA's science mission director, Professor Thomas Zirk Buchan told the meeting Our civilization is on the verge of discovering evidence of alien life in the cosmos. They said the same type of thing before. They play this game all the time. Why? I really don't understand. I mean, just looking at that uh, fourth planet in this system is enough to convince me. I've shown the videos. I've gone over uh, Google Earth and the vegetation is clearly visible in it. It's pretty much cut and dried. Well, it is cut and dried. There's no pretty much about it. Anyway, we just identified more than 200 potential new worlds as a tweet. NASA taking into account all the different activities and missions that are searching for alien life. We are on the verge of making one of the most profound, unprecedented discoveries in history. Professor Zirk Buchan said on Twitter last week, Wow, 219 potential new planets. At NASA... Kepler data shows us stars are home, home to at least one planet. Are we alone? And that's not very uh, enthusiastic. Last groundbreaking, groundbreaking discoveries were among 2,335 plants beyond our solar system which have been verified after being found by Kepler. Of those, only 30 plants have been found that have Earth-like plants potentially able to host life. This carefully measured catalog is the foundation for directly answering one of astronomy's most compelling questions. How many plants like Earth are there in our galaxy? So it's Susan Thompson, Kepler's research scientist. Well, now for you religious types, I'm an agnostic. For you religious types, uh, this isn't what you need to be worried about. It's proof of alien life. See, there are a lot of religions that are afraid that their religion will go downhill if uh, proof of alien life is found, which I believe it already has, obviously, but, I mean, officially, if we contact aliens, what you really need to fear is time travel. Just think about this. What happens to a soul that's in hell, for instance, if an alien goes back in time and changes time so that person's not even born? You get my picture? A lot of little time paradoxes like that. Well, that's just an aside. Um, this is a standard game that's played by NASA all the time. 
They're not going to admit to this until they're forced to. Some way. I wouldn't even know how that would work. At any rate, there you go. That's his usual games. Same old, same old. Uh, are they going to disclose alien life? I doubt it. Is this article all that credible? <laughs> I doubt it. But keep looking at the skies. Maybe someday we'll get lucky and we'll be able to catch something that they're not going to be able to deny. And then the you know what will hit the fan. I'm RFX Mars. Thanks for watching. Keep looking up on the sky.